Hey, Timo, Brody, Brownie here back in studio. Uh, tonight's game, to get this win, to go into the break, I know that was kind of the goal, but what does it really do for you guys as a group over the next couple days? Yeah, I thought, uh, you know, tonight's uh, game was, uh, you know, one of the better ones. I thought it was a, a solid 60-minute effort. We had uh, all four lines rolling. We had the defensemen playing well. We had a goalie that played an unbelievable game. So I think that's, uh, you know, definitely a good feeling to go into the break and uh, kind of, uh, you know, a nice way to, to end this first half. Timo, Curtis Brown here. Congratulations, obviously, on your goal this evening. Uh, great uh, play all over the ice by Carlson tonight. Uh, but... I think the biggest question that Brody and I have, and maybe a lot of the fans, is how do you react or what is the best way to react to a guy like Shaw who's running around and not for the first time uh, against you guys, but we saw it tonight against Svechnikov. It's great Svechnikov's back, but what do you guys do to kind of band around each other when that happens on the ice? Yeah, I think it's important that we keep our composure and uh, obviously not get uh, too frustrated and, uh, you know, get our, off our game. So, uh, you know, stupid from him to take that penalty. We're obviously really lucky that uh, Sledge didn't get injured there. But uh, we did a great job capitalizing on uh, the, f uh, you know, the five-minute major they got. So, um, you know, that's the, that's the way to punish them. And uh, I think we did a good job of that. Yeah, Sharks have always been good on those five-minute majors, huh? Wink, wink. Uh, hey, Eric Carlson <laughs> and you guys have connected. You guys have connected on a couple goals lately, you being the, uh, the beneficiary of a couple of those scores. What is it when you've been playing with him for years, but all of a sudden maybe there's something brewing, there's something flowing? What, what's happening between you two right now? Yeah, um, he's obviously playing with a lot of confidence, and uh, we all see how he's flying out there making passes uh, through, uh, you know, like 10 sticks and skates and everything. So um, with him, I, I think we've always had good chemistry. Um, it's just sometimes, uh, you know, those passes, they're, they're tough, and sometimes, you know, you, you get unlucky, hits a skate or something like that. But the way it's going right now, um, obviously it's, it's go it goes through hard work. Uh, you earn those, you know, maybe sometimes lucky plays, but uh, we work for them and uh, he's obviously playing fantastic hockey we saw we all see that we've speculated about this a lot here on this show just looking at Carly's uptick this year and the really the best start he's had to a season in his NHL career and it's not like a knock against Brent Burns at all I'm just saying that is it more opportunity that Carlson has to be that offensive defenseman is there something about this season and, and him being that guy on the blue line that has opened him up more that you see um, maybe he's he's getting a little bit more of uh, you know uh, more looks on the power play and more time. But I think overall, you know, he's he's finding his groove. He's healthy, so uh, I think we all saw from the first day uh, in training camp that he was uh, healthy and he had this you know extra bright in, uh, in in his eyes and he he was ready to make a difference. So uh, we see it on the ice the way he's playing and he's worked hard. So uh, really happy for him. Timo, my final comment is I had, uh, we have a connection. Um, I don't know if you've ever been to a Rosa in Switzerland, but I spent Christmas in a Rosa when we were playing over there. Beautiful part of the world. So for everybody around the world watching, especially in a Rosa, Merry Christmas, not only to you, but also to you, Timo. Yeah, I actually, uh, during COVID, I went up there. Uh, funny, I didn't get to spend Christmas there, but we had a little pre-Christmas there because I had to fly actually the 23rd. So, uh, beautiful spot and uh, obviously nice, uh, you know, Switzerland. So I miss home, especially during Christmas. Timo, the year 2050, when you're retired, I would like a, per <laughs> I would like a personal tour of Switzerland by you. Uh, love the country, good. and uh, obviously I would, I would love to spend some time. Thank you so much. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Thanks for doing Thank this. Thank you. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas, you guys, too. All right. Timo Meyer, good enough to join us here on Post Game Live. And, uh, you know, again, I, I just think the overall theme here is San Jose looked at the final couple games before the break as one little light at the end of the tunnel. Do your best. The Calgary games did not go well. No question about that. But tonight, the exact opposite of those games. And this is optimal to have a couple days off, marinate on this instead of the alternative.